press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. There's certainly no love lost between the ICC Champions Trophy finalists. India and Pakistan have a fierce and bitter rivalry that spans decades. Because of political tensions, the two sides don't play each other as often as you'd think. But now they face off on one of cricket's biggest stages. That Santos reports. Forget this being the biggest grudge match in cricket, it's one of the most intense rivalries in world sports. The Champions Trophy final between India and Pakistan will be the 129th One Day International in what has become a rare head-to-head -head confrontation between the two sides. The first days of June saw the speeding up of history making in New Delhi. It meant partition of India. Partition of the Punjab, Bengal and Assam, if so desired. Hostilities off the pitch go way back to 1947, where India was partitioned into two nations, one of them being Pakistan. The bloody legacy of the divide and arguments over territory added to the growth of an intense rivalry on the cricket field. Even last week, before the sides met in the group stages, protesters across India wanted the game to be called off due to rising political tensions between the two nations. The final on Sunday is expected to attract a little over one billion viewers. Pakistani fans look away now as the history between the two is rather one-sided. In ICC tournaments, India have beaten Pakistan 11 times. At the World Cup, Pakistan have never beaten their neighbours. The same goes for the World T20 where India lead 4-0. But Pakistan seem to do better at the Champions Trophy where the fixtures are even at two apiece. So even though history is on India's side, Pakistan are in fine form and probably had the tougher route to the final. Previous encounters will count for nothing though come Sunday, where tempers will fray and there'll be more than the odd bouncer thrown in for good measure, as one-seventh of the world's population is expected to tune in for a grudge match like no other. And what a sporting rivalry it has been between these two nations. Now, someone who knows well enough what it's like to line up in this fixture is former Indian international Rohan Gavaskar, who joins us now from London. Rohan, thank you very much for coming on the show. Now, before we get into the technical aspect of these two teams, you have played against Pakistan twice during your career. And given that it's one of the most watched sporting events in the world, can you tell us what it's like from a player's perspective in the dressing room and out on the field? Oh, it's the big one. There's no question about it. As an Indian player or a Pakistani player, this is the big one. India and Pakistan don't play bilateral series anymore. The only time they face off against each other is when they're playing in an ICC event, which is either the Champions Trophy or the T20 World Cup or the World Cup. Even the fans watching, I mean, they get a lot more nervous. There's a lot more riding on a victory or a defeat. Um, so look, uh, it's a big one. There are going to be thousands of Indian fans at the Oval come Sunday, but what about the fact that at home you've got about a billion people who are probably going to be tuning in and watching this? How much extra added pressure will that give, especially given the expectation that they're probably expecting their boys to win? Uh, they're, they're definitely expecting the boys to win they're, they're, because the way the Indian team has been performing over the last uh, year, year and a half, if you, if you go on to social media, You've already seen all the memes about how, you know, India should walk this. You know, Virat Kohli is the number one batsman in the world as far as uh, ODIs are concerned. Rohit Sharma is in form. Shikhar Dhawan's in good form. And you've already beaten Pakistan once in the tournament and quite comprehensively, um, uh, if I may add. So, look, there's definitely more pressure on the Indian team because at the moment, everyone's uh, billing India as the favourites. Pakistan are definitely the underdogs. But... Having said that, if there's one team uh, which can which can be as unpredictable, it's 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 Pakistan. They can they can do anything on their day. And you know, if you had to if you had to pick player by player for uh, in terms of potential and talent, the Indian team at the moment, without any bias, I've got to say, is is far stronger than the Pakistani team. Uh, but look, if I was part of the Indian team uh, at the moment, I would look at that as a positive. I would say that, look, you know, we're going in the right direction. Forget that we're playing Pakistan. You've got to try and keep that aside and focus on what you can do. Focus on your ability, focus on your skill set. If we, if we do that, like I said earlier, we should win this game. OK, well, given the exception of that Sri Lanka game, the opening pair of Shikhar Dalwan and Rohit Sharma, they've been in a league of their own this tournament. So is there any fear at all that if they underperform or that they fail to do well, that that could be a real struggle for the Indians? 
if, if you're from the Pakistani camp, you'd be saying, you know, law of averages need, needs to catch up with Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma. Um, if you're from the Indian camp, you'd be saying, you know, long may this continue because they've been setting the platform for the rest of the guys to come in and, and do, a, do a job. Uh, this Indian team, uh, where as far as batting is concerned, has got a lot of talent and a lot of experience as well. You've got, like I said, Virat Kohli coming at number three. Then you've got Yuvrat Singh and Mahendra Singh Dhoni, two world-class players. So even if Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan don't get India off to a good start, God forbid, uh, the Indian batting lineup, uh, they've got enough quality to manage. Okay then, Rohan, so tell me in one sentence, who do you think is going to win and by how much? India. And by how much? And by how much? Uh, that's a little tough to predict, but I think uh, if India chase, they'll win by six wickets. Great. Well, thank you very much, Rohan.